last time we had a problem with our likes. Uh, we liked this post using two people, but if we go to our likes table and click on edit on this one row we have, we find that instead of uh, increasing the number of uh, uh, likes we had, we reduced and some data is missing. For example, the user ID and date. Um, so I think there's a problem in our code. So let's go back to our text editor and see what we can find out. All right. So first of all, we go to our classes because the post class is what determines the uh, the liking capabilities. So let me change the color scheme here a little bit. I'm more inclined to this one now. All right, so if we go to the post class and we go to the function that says, um, which one is that? Uh, like post, right? So if we go down here and try to see what's actually going on, the first time we clicked on the on the like button, everything went well, which means this part is fine where we are inserting a new entry. So we can ignore all this. So our problem must be somewhere here, right? And I think I kind of know what the problem is. So let me zoom in a little bit here. Uh, if you remember very well, this result, because uh, even though we are limiting this to one result, what's happening is that it's bringing an array of results, an array of an array. So this result, the result that we get from there should be the first entry in this array that is returned. So I think here, when, you, when it's trying to get the likes from there, it can't find them since this is inside another array. So what we need to do to sort this problem out is to put a bracket like that and put a zero because we want to get the first entry so the first row or the first array and then we find the likes in there okay this should actually sort out the problem if i am not mistaken so let's uh, give it a spin and see if that actually works so we're going to uh, like another post here let me refresh this just to make sure i am logged in as let me click here yeah, yeah. this is who i'm logged in now as so if I go and click on this, I should get a new entry since this is a different post. So let's go browse here. And as you can see, I've gotten a new entry. And if we go to the edit here, you will notice that everything is good. There's user ID, there's depth there, and there's one entry overall. So let's try and um, click this again. Since I've already liked this post, it shouldn't give me additional information so let's go back and see browse click edit and voila no additional information but if you notice it hasn't deleted anything either so so far it's working but let's try and uh, log in as somebody else so i'm going to try as mary one two three four so let me log in as mary and then i'm going to go to the other profile and like the same post again so I'm logged in as Mary and I'm liking this post also, right? So let's go and check. What we are supposed to see is an increase in the amount of information here. So we should have two entries. So let me try and refresh this page and see what we get. So oh, taken back to this. So let me hit edit on the second entry. And as you can see, now I have two entries via that comma there so there's this user and there's a second user but however we don't have the uh, user id and date in the second entry so let me see we still have a problem with our code oh yeah so we forgot to actually add that from here so let me copy this from down here and put it in there silly little things we forget and let me put that in there as well and save so that should wrap it up and so what i want to do is delete everything in here and start afresh 
So what I will do, I'll go to operations on this table likes. Make sure you are on that table and I'm going to truncate, meaning I'll delete everything in the table and it's going to reset the ID to zero. Okay. And also one more thing is because uh, we are actually incrementing the number of likes on the posts themselves, we're going to have a mismatch because I'm sure if I go down here, I'm going to find something with more than zero likes, which is exactly there. This one has 10, this one has two, but these were the likes we got while testing. So we must delete them in order to match the number. Okay, so I'm going to hit edit on these two. I'm going to select the two and go to the edit button down here. Okay, so let's go to where it says likes and let's put in a zero in there and let's go down to the second entry and likes we put a zero and go. Just so that we start from scratch again. All right. So again, I'm going to hit the like button here on this one and let's see if everything is going smoothly. So if we go to the likes table, so I have one entry there, well and good. And if I go to my posts, I should see one like written, which is exactly that. So I think we are good to go here. So all we need to do now is display the like here and some more information about who actually liked this post. So since in the posts um, uh, table itself, there's a like count there, we can simply add the like at the end here. So to do that, we go to our folder and let's go to, let's go to the post.php outside the classes because that's the one that displays our post. And if we go to where there's a like button, we can simply search for it, but I think it's over here, right over there. So right here. So what I want to do is create a variable that I can use to check if the number of posts is more than zero, because here what I could do is simply add some PHP tags like so, PHP, and simply echo, uh, I've added this bracket outside the PHP tags because I want it to be open and close bracket. I want the number of likes to be in so inside uh, brackets. So I'm going to say echo and add row and say likes, right? Something like so. And then close that PHP tag and put that bracket to match this one right here. So let's see what we get here, just as a sample. So you see here, there's one like uh, clearly, but the problem is even with zero likes, it's showing a zero, which we don't want to display. So what I want to do instead is create a variable here that is going to check to see if something is active or not. Now we've been dealing with if statements all this time, but let me show you a, a a quick way to create an if statement uh, that is a little bit unconventional.